The Pacific Coast population of the western snowy plover breeds on beaches in California mostly, but also in Washington and Oregon, and it's listed under the Endangered Species Act as a federally threatened species. The reason that the, this bird is listed as a threatened species is because of a lot of the uh, dangers and threats it faces on the beach. Uh, probably foremost is the fact that a lot of its nesting habitat has disappeared because of coastal development. But then there are also other threats from ranging from oil spills or sea level rise to human disturbance uh, to predators and invasion of non-native plant species into the dune habitats. So there's a lot of different threats these birds face both on their breeding grounds and also on their wintering grounds. One of the major threats that Audubon is trying to address is the disturbance on the beaches and the disturbance are caused by people and also by dogs and what happens is the birds get flushed off their nests, uh, the parents leave the nests, there's the possibility of people stepping on eggs, there's the possibility of dogs chasing away the birds, and so one way to address that is that the state agencies that own or manage the beaches have put up fencing and they fenced off areas where the birds can um, lay their eggs and nest um, undisturbed by people. The problem with that is that the fencing and the signs, the regulatory signs that are put up are often ignored by the public and they get vandalized, they get taken down, um, or people just walk over the fencing and go into the colonies and cause the same disturbance. Well, one of our chapters, Morro Coast Audubon Society, had a great idea of uh, getting kids engaged in the process, teaching kids about these birds in the schools and then taking the kids out onto the beaches in Morro Bay uh, where they got to see the birds firsthand, um, and then they held an art contest, uh, which is a really great idea um, to get the kids thinking about the lessons that they'd learned. Uh, they painted signs, uh, they had a contest, and the winning signs um, were made into hard plastic signs that were then installed along the beaches in snowy plover habitat areas, along with the regulatory signs. Um, and the great thing about signs made by kids is people don't vandalize them. They stop and they look at them and it's almost like there's an art exhibit right on the beach. So we thought this idea that Morro Coast Audubon started was a great idea. It worked really well in Morro Bay and other chapters wanted to adopt this kind of program so we identified funding for different chapters like Los Angeles Audubon, Mendocino Coast Audubon um, to do the same kids art contest and get signs out on the beaches. So we've taken Morro Coast Audubon's idea and expanded it. We now have 40 miles of signs across the California beaches. With the help of an Audubon grant, we've uh, provided funds to San Diego Audubon and Los Angeles Audubon to work in the inner city school systems. Some of these birds, particularly plovers and terns, nest right within the core of these urban areas. So there's an opportunity for these chapters to go into these inner city schools and teach the kids about the shorebirds and then rent the buses and actually get the kids out onto the beaches. And the chapter volunteers tell me some of these kids have never been onto the beaches before, so it's a, it's a really great opportunity. They make the signs, they help put up the signs, um, they have weekend events and bring the families out onto the beaches, and the families help protect some of these nesting colonies of birds.